Okay, hi guys. This is uh, Dan David here, and uh, greetings from Toronto, Canada. I am I am celebrating uh, Thanksgiving with many of you in America, in the United States as well. Um, and and that's really because uh, America is so close to my heart. Uh, I'm also in Armenia. I'm, I'm a little bit more of the American director. Melissa is a Canadian director, so for me this is a Thanksgiving as well, in a way. But um, yeah, I recently got back from my, my last visit to the US which was in Phoenix and it was I had an incredible concert on a Friday night a Saturday night there was another special event that touched lives and uh, then there was a big conference that, where I networked with over 100 leaders personally and so that was very busy for me it was unusually busy for me uh, letting the Lord lead me to network with so many wonderful leaders so we can partner together for God's purposes and some of you um, were asking me I know through the comments from last week about something that happened last Thursday where I was supposed to fly back to Toronto and my flight got cancelled and redirected and I was redirected to go to Los Angeles to LA and it turned out to be a blessing and so some people ask ask me about it and so um, I thought you know just to take some time to share a little bit more with you it's not easy for me to take some time off now as, as I'm getting ready for a seven week tour and uh, this is a, a really ex I'm really excited to come back to the US and to reach thousands of people with a music and message and it's a lot of logistic to organize that you, you know, only other artists like Paul Wilbur or Kerry Job know what it's like, but it's a lot to organize. But uh, I still want to reach out to you. I know people had a question what happened last Thursday and how God, God did this uh, kind of flight redirection for me. And it, it's really, uh, I'll take here some time to share that. It's really, it's really about being aligned with God. It's, it's a lot of the alignment, the being really well aligned with God in His purposes. Um, what had happened was that throughout the whole week I was really seeking God for more opportunities, how to be a light, how to reach more people, and how to use my other gifts, which includes prayer, to put them to use for God's purposes. And when I was seeing that the flight is getting cancelled and that uh, there's not going to be a flight to Toronto, I had favor and um, I found favor with the people around. Everybody was asking about my music, about my violin playing, it just in the airport, like complete strangers were asking me questions and the flight attendants were really friendly there at the waiting area by the boarding. Uh, and when I found out it's cancelled, I, I had priority to, to get redirected to another city. I obviously had to let them know that I have to be back in town by, by the weekend for a very important concert. So they took me really seriously and of all people they gave me priority. And basically I got a free flight uh, to LA. Um, so have a give us a moment. And I got a free flight to LA and uh, I hope you can hear me. Sorry, it's so loud here. But uh, uh, because that was the only way to get me to Toronto the next day. But God really was involved and, and uh, they gave me complete priority. I mean, they treated me like, like an A-lister. They didn't treat anybody else like that. They, they book, rebooked my flight to LA instead of Toronto because LA had another flight that would go to Toronto the next day. They put me in a Hyatt hotel, comfortable place. And I immediately thought, God, okay, why are you doing this? And uh, God showed me that he wanted me to pray for the people of LA. Are you giving me a moment here? And so I was, uh, you know, praying, uh, uh, you know, I had a chance to reach people. It was incredible. Even at the airports in LA, people were asking me about my music. So I redirected people to, our, uh, to listen to our songs on iTunes and on the website and wherever they would find me. And that's already one way to reach people. Uh, God had me stop and eat by a bar at the LA airport where I was able to meditate on what happened just a week prior at, at a bar in LA that was a shooting that happened. And so I was able to pray for the people and really see the unity that can be when uh, people have goodwill and they, you know, they get, get together in an airport just to, to grab a meal. Uh, and that was quite a valuable experience for me. I, you know, and uh, then I, I went to my hotel and, and God told me to pray for the city of LA. I was praying, I was praying for unity, for compassion, I was praying for revival. And funny enough, the next day as I got home and I had a very smooth flight and the whole stay was wonderful, uh, I was able, I noticed on the news like some movie, movie star was talking about how they believe a revival is coming to LA and it was like a day after I prayed for it. And of course I prayed for people affected by the fires and so on. Yeah, yeah. But God used me in a way to pray but at the same time He blessed me as well to yeah. enjoy seeing LA and to avoid a really bad weather in Toronto so the next day when I came home it was perfect and so the way God works for his purposes is, is beautiful it's a win-win relationship it's a win-win to do his purposes and also to protect us I mean in my case he wanted to protect me from the storm and um, and that's the way God works he really wants us to work together for his purposes and so it was a really special experience, but it, it's a lot of suddenness, a lot of suddenness with the Lord being aligned and being able to touch even more people and pray and 
shake the nations together for God's purposes. And, and in a couple of weeks, I get a chance to go back on the road and minister through the music. So I wanted to just take some you know, time to share that with you. I got to get dinner right now. But I hope to see you at upcoming events. And um, God bless you guys. See you soon. Okay, that's fine.